question 257 true or false if your feature is in the general availability phase then your feature will receive support from all microsoft support channels option a false option b true and the correct answer is option b true explanation this is true do not use preview features in production apps next question which azure management tool analyzes your uses of azure and makes suggestions specifically targeted to help you optimize your uses of azure regarding cost security and performance option a azure mobile app option b azure advisor option c azure firewall option d azure service health and the correct answer is option b azure advisor explanation Azure Advisor analyzes your specific uses of Azure and makes helpful suggestions on how it can be improved. Next question. If you have an Azure free account with a $200 credit for the first month, what happens when you reach the $200 limit? Option A. Your account is automatically closed. Option B. Your credit card is automatically billed. Option C. All services are stopped and you must decide whether you want to convert to a paid account or not. Option D. You cannot create any more resources until you add more credits to the account. And the correct answer is Option C. All services are stopped and you must decide whether you want to convert to a paid account or not. Explanation. Using up the free credits causes all your resources to be stopped until you decide to get a paid account. Next question. Which Azure service when enabled will automatically block traffic to or from known malicious IP addresses and domains. Option A. Network security groups. Option B. Azure firewall. Option C. Azure active directory. Option D. Load balancer. And the correct answer is option B. Azure firewall. Explanation. Azure firewall has a threat intelligence option that will automatically block traffic to or from bad actors on the internet. Next question. If you wanted to get an alert every time a new virtual machine is created, where could you create that? Option A. Azure Policy Option B. Azure Dashboard Option C. Azure Monitor Option D. Subscription Settings And the correct answer is Option C. Azure Monitor Explanation the best place to track events at the resource level is Azure Monitor. Next question. Which of the following are one of the advantages of running your cloud in a private cloud? Option A. You own the hardware so you can change private cloud hosting providers easily. Option B. Private cloud is significantly cheaper than the public cloud. Option C. Assurance that your code, data and applications are running on isolated hardware and on an isolated network. And the correct answer is option C. Assurance that your code, data and applications are running on isolated hardware and on an isolated network. Explanation. Private cloud generally means that you are running your code on isolated computing, not mixed in with other companies. Next question. What is the significance of the Azure reason? Why is it important? Option A. Reason is just a folder structure in which you organize resources much like file folders on a computer. Option B. You must select a reason when creating most resources and the reason is the area of the world where those resources will be physically located. Option C. Once you select a reason, you cannot create resources outside of that reason. So, selecting the right reason is an important decision. Next question. What is the name of the collective set of APIs that provide machine learning and artificial intelligence services to your own applications like voice recognition, email tagging, and chatbot? Option A. Natural Language Service LUIS Option B. Cognitive Services Option C. Azure Machine Learning Studio Option D. Azure Batch And the correct answer is Option B. Cognitive Services Explanation Azure Cognitive Services is the set of machine learning and AI APIs. Next question. Which of the following elements is considered part of the network layer of network security? Option A. Locks on the data center doors. Option B. All of the above. Option C. Q 
keeping operating systems up to date with patches option d separate servers into distinct subnets by role and the correct answer is option d separate servers into distinct subnets by role next question what are groups of subscriptions called option a management groups option b arm groups option c azure policy option d subscription groups and the correct answer is option a management groups explanation subscriptions can be nested and placed into management groups to make managing them easier next question which azure service can be enabled to enable multi factor authentication for administrators but not require it for regular users option a privileged identity management option b azure firewall option c azure ad b2b option d advanced threat protection and the correct answer is option a privileged identity management explanation privileged identity management can be used to ensure privileged users have to jump through additional verification because of their role next question which azure resource satisfies the below requirement provide an environment for desktop and application virtualization option a azure app service option b windows virtual desktop option c azure virtual machines option d azure virtual network and the correct answer is option b windows virtual desktop explanation you can use windows virtual desktop for the purpose of desktop and application virtualization azure virtual desktop formerly known as windows virtual desktop is a microsoft azure based systems for virtualizing its windows operating systems providing virtualized desktops and applications in the cloud it is aimed at enterprise customers rather than at individual users next question you are planning to use the azure storage blob service to store some of the important data files is it possible to set the objects to use the archive access tier at the object level option a yes option b no and the correct answer is option a yes explanation yes you can set the object to use the archive access tier at the object level if you have an object click on the change tier there you can change the access tier to use the archive access tier next question which azure service can meet the below requirement ensure that only virtual machines of a particular size can be launched within an azure subscription option a azure resource logs option b azure blueprints option c azure resource tags option d azure policies and the correct answer is option d azure policies explanation this can be accomplished with the use of azure policies with azure policies you can use an inbuilt policy to specify the sku size that can be used to launch an azure virtual machine azure policy is a service in azure that allows you to create policies that enforce and control the properties of a resource when these policies are used they enforce different rules and affects on your resources so those resources stay compliant with your it governance standards next question a company is planning to use an entire suite of microsoft products which of the following belongs to the category of software as a service says option a microsoft office 365 option b azure virtual machine service option c azure app service option d azure content delivery network service and the correct answer is option a microsoft office 365 explanation as per azure documentation software as a service allows users to connect to and use cloud based apps over the internet common examples are email calendaring and office tools such as microsoft office 365 saas provides a complete software solution that you purchase on a pay as you go basis from a cloud service provider option b is incorrect azure virtual machine service belongs to the category of infrastructure as a service iaas option c and d are incorrect since they belong to the category of platform as a service paas thank you for watching this video buy our az 900 premium questions with 50% off check link in the description